Hey, it's Mars, and this is Let's Make a Dungeon Crawler Part 17. In this video, we'll be adding a little bit of diversity to our enemies. I'll start by copy and pasting a zombie in my scene a few times to see how it looks when I hit play. We've got a big problem here, and that's that they all look exactly the same. To solve this, we'll simply assign a different material to each of the zombies on start, and we'll do that through a list. So here let's do a common on start, and we want to make a list, so that's common create list. We'll call this materials, and we will add to list. And I'll add a few materials. If I click on my zombie, navigate to my skin mesh renderer and click on my material, I've prepared five, each with a different texture assigned to it. So here, I'll just drag the materials and assign it to my list. All right. Now let's assign a material using the common set property, and I'll drag in the game object that has my skin mesh renderer, and we'll navigate to skin mesh renderer, material, material, and we want to choose, let's use a get from list, and we want a random number between 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So between 0 and 4. We'll go to math, random integer, between 0 and 4. I'll need to make sure to check the max inclusive checkbox on my random integer block. I'll hit play once again after I've duplicated a few zombies, and we'll see how it looks. All right, so this looks good. However, we might encounter a problem. In video 15 of this series, we decided to change the material on our enemy on mouse enter and on mouse exit. If you are using that method of highlighting, you'll see that when I highlight my enemy, they'll all be changed to the same material. So assuming you are using the selection method in video 15, here's how you can deal with that. I'll go back to my enemy, and we'll want to make one more list. Let's call this highlighted materials. And once again, I will add five materials to the list, common add to list. and I will drag in my materials. First we'll want to randomize a number and save it as a temporary variable so that we can use that random number on both of our lists. So we'll call this random int which will be a random number between 0 and 4 with the max inclusive checkbox checked. And then we're going to save our choice from each list into a local variable. Let's save those as unity objects. And we'll call one material and one highlighted material. So now we can say we'll create the lists. Then we'll generate a random number, and then let's set material to a common get from list, and that will be not a random value from the index, but random int, our temporary integer. So that's a variables get temp int. 
random int. And material will be from the list materials. And let's copy and paste this, and this time we want to set the highlighted material local unity object variable, and we'll use the same random int, but this time from our other list. Now that we've got our materials saved into our prefab, all we need to do is on mouse enter. Instead of simply dragging the material from your project window into the on mouse enter block, we'll just use get local unity object. So on mouse enter would be highlighted material. And on mouse exit would be material. And we'll use the same for on actor death. That was our material. So now I'll move this block down to the very bottom, and after we've created our lists, generated a random number, and saved our random number selection from our list into local unity objects. We'll set the skin to mesh renderer dot material to get local unity object material. I'll copy and paste a few zombies, and then we'll hit play and see if our highlighting works. Sure enough, every zombie has the correct material and highlight material. That's all for this one. Thank you so much for watching, and if you learned something, hit that like button. Join me next time where we'll be going over blood particles and decals.